Tyler here with GP Knives, and today we have the Wii Knives 715 Ignition. This is a titanium frame lock flipper. It's got a full titanium lock side with 3D machine pocket clip. It is reversible for tip up right or left hand carry. You've got a nice lanyard loop in the back here, a partial backspacer, mostly open back construction on this though. Ceramic ball bearing pivot is fast and smooth and you do have a couple of options for deployment, both the index flipper or the eye hole here on the blade. The blade itself is a shallow hollow ground recurve with a long swedge. Gives you a very fine point and a nice slicing edge with a fairly robust blade stock on that. It's gonna make a great everyday carry knife and is gonna be an excellent slicer and piercer. Now, the front side of the scale here is G10, and it is gonna be a linerless with the exception of a very small liner at the very top here in the pivot area that houses the ball bearings and provides an anchor for that stainless stop pin. And here you can see the Wii ignition in my pocket. Thanks to the just over three ounce weight and small footprint of the knife, it carries very well in the pocket. The 3D machine type pocket clip puts the majority of the knife below the line of the pocket for discrete carry and provides plenty of security while carrying. The knife deploys fast and smooth, and thanks to the relatively small profile of the knife, it allows for easy access to other items in the pocket while carrying, and the moderately textured G10 is easy on the hands while providing solid traction. And here is the Wii 715 with the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. You can see these two knives are fairly similar in their size. Similar cutting edge on these. You're going to have a similar functional grip area as well with a little thinner stock and overall thickness is going to be a little thinner as well on that 715. And here we have the Wii Knives 715 Ignition with the Victorinox Alox Pioneer. And here it is with the Spyderco Delica. And one of the best comparisons I can find is the Spyderco Mantra. You can see these knives are fairly similar in their overall size. You're going to get a similar blade length on these two. The stock thickness is going to be fairly similar as well with a slightly finer point on the Wii. Handle thickness is fairly similar, a little thicker on the Wii 715. And the functional grip area on these two, as well as the overall handle length, are going to be almost identical. Here is a quick shot of the group for an overall comparison. The Wii 715 comes in a few variations. We've got a two-tone tumbled with satin flats blade and a black G10. And then we are going to have a two-tone black and satin blade with black G10. And those are going to be the two blade finish variants that are available. We've also got an orange G10 scale. We've got that in both blade options. And then we've also got a blue G10 with both blade options on that as well. So six variants, all titanium frame lock flippers with VG10 blades. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and the Wii Knives 715 Ignition Titanium Frame Lock Flipper in VG10. You can check it out now at gpknives.com. Thanks for watching and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. Like the video below and click the icon at the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new videos.